Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone, to the channel IT Simplified. Hope you're doing good with your family and friends and uh, liking these sessions. In today's video in Azure, I'm here to show you how to connect resources between multiple subscription. So recently, I come across a scenario in which the customer had uh, multiple subscription within its tenant, and they have resources, and they needed to talk to each other. So I thought maybe this will be a good session to take. So for this demonstration, I have a tenant in which I have two subscription, one with the name Microsoft Azure subscription. And for simplicity, we'll call it sub A or subscription A. And the other uh, subscription I have is Microsoft Partner Network and we'll call it subscription B. And if I can show you by going onto the portal, these are the two subscriptions that I have and we'll create uh, resources and make sure that they talk to each other. So with that in place, uh, let's go to the resource group. And just heads up, uh, in order to achieve this kind of scenario, you need to make sure that you have appropriate uh, permission so that uh, you can do peering. So you need to have uh, access for both the subscription. Now, in my case, I have uh, owner access for both the subscriptions. So Let's go and create a resource group. So let me go and, so these are the two subscriptions. So let's call this subscription A and I'll create a resource group with the name RGA in this. And we'll deploy this in Canada Central. Review and create and click on create. So resource group was created. Let's go and uh, create another resource group. And this time in subscription B, which is Microsoft Partner Network. Name it RGB and again, put in Canada Central. So both the resource group were created and we need to now deploy virtual network in these resource groups. So go to virtual network, click on add. And first I will deploy this in my subscription A. I already have resource group, which is RGA. I'll name this virtual network VNet A. Go to next. I'll leave everything to the default. Review and create. And click on create button. So the deployment is in progress so while this is getting deployed let's go and deploy another virtual network this time it will be in the subscription b let's go and create and i'll deploy the same resource group b i'll name this vnet b go to next again everything is default review and create and click on create button. So both the virtual network are in place now. So what I need to do is go back to virtual network. So let's go to VNet A, go and expand this. If I go under properties, this is the information I need. I need to grab, uh, grab the resource ID. So let me go and copy this. Let me just save it on a notepad. And same thing, I need to grab the same information from virtual network B. Copy this. And I, again, I'll save it on my notepad. With that in place, let me just copy the resource ID. And what we're going to do is we will be doing the peering now. So if I go back to my virtual network and go to VNet A and uh, under settings, if I go back to peering, click on add, we need to peer virtual network A with the B. You need to give it a name. And here I need to provide the resource ID on OK. And now it is uh, pairing the virtual network. So while this is getting 
done, let me go back to now virtual network B and do the same thing. I'll name it E2A. And yes, I know the resource ID, which I'll grab it from here. So this was also done successfully. Now, whatever resources I'll be creating between these uh, subscription, they'll be able to talk to each other because uh, we have enabled VNet peering. So in this way, though these are separate subscription, the resources between each of them will be still be able to talk to each other. I hope you found this video on uh, peering between multiple subscription useful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.